yeah so let's move on to the first question a diagnostic imaging uh, scan is planned for a 45 year old patient who is suspected of having cancer again despite receiving therapy in the past a pet scan is requested by the doctor to evaluate the metabolic activity of the probable tumor location so it's a simple question which of the following compound is frequently used in pet scans so the whole mahabharat of the first half was really unnecessary and the eventual question is which of the following compounds is used in pet imaging so we know that the most common uh, metabolite that we use in pet is a fdg fluorodeoxyglucose uh, fluorodeoxyglucose is used in pet scans so the answer to this question is uh, fdg correct now let's move on to the second question a 56 year old man who is anorexic underweight and experiencing stomach pain presents the result of the barium study if displayed okay now if we look at the barium study so we see that there is this widening of the CLU. okay so the patient has anorexia he has weight loss loss of weight Okay, so there might be a cancer or a granulomatous disease and the, on this x-ray, which modality is this? This is a barium meal, right? We are seeing the stomach and the duodenum. This is the barium meal. And here we see the widening of the C loop of duodenum. And we see this impression on the medial wall of the second part of the duodenum. And to top it all, what do we have? We have that there is narrowing. We see that there is narrowing of the second part of this duodenum. So what is the answer to this question? Yes, we suspect that there is a mass in the head of the pancreas. No, it's not a Crohn's disease, uh, beta. It's not a Crohn's disease. Why it's not a Crohn's disease? Because A, it is a barium meal that is given. If it was a Crohn's disease, a barium meal follow through would have been given to see the entire small bowel and IC junction. The patient has a widening of C loop of duodenum here and narrowing of the second part of the duodenum. So we are dealing with the CA head of pancreas. The answer to this question is CA head of pancreas. Okay. Now a newborn, uh, let's just rewind to this question. So if it was a Crohn's disease, okay. First of all, a BMFT, BMFT would have been given, barium meal follow through. And on a BMFT, what would have uh, been given? we would have seen multiple strictures, okay? That means that there are skip lesions that are present in BMFT. We have skip lesions, okay? And what kind of strictures do we have in Crohn's disease? What kind of strictures? We have long segment strictures. We have long segment strictures in Crohn's disease. Now, just a word about Crohn's disease, which is the most common part of small intestine affected. It is terminal ileum. It is terminal ileum. And any part of the bowel can be affected in uh, Crohn's disease. Most commonly, it's the terminal ileum, but even stomach, esophagus, large intestine, rectum, everything can be involved in uh, in uh, Crohn's disease. Okay, so please explain CA head of pancreas again. Okay, so first of all, what are the hints in the question which tells you that it is a CA head of pancreas? Okay, the patient has anorexia. It is an elderly. First of all, it is an elderly man. He has anorexic weight loss. <laughs> and let's look at the barium meal. Okay, so on barium meal, what do we see? We see that the C loop, this is what is known as the C loop of duodenum. Usually, this is not so widened. We see that there is this big impression on the medial wall of the second part of the duodenum. And this is the widening of the C loop of duodenum. Okay. Now, what is this impression that we see on the medial wall of duodenum? This is known as the reverse three sign. The string sign, you know, uh, somebody has said string sign of contour. So, first of all, string sign of contour is not seen in the duodenum. If it was a string sign of contour, which is seen, by the way, in uh, pyloric stenosis, that is there in the pylorus. So, at this point of, at this area in the pylorus, you would have seen string sign of contour. Sorry, string sign of contour. Uh, 
वन इज आई एच पी एस स्ट्रिंग साइन एंड स्ट्रिंग साइन ऑफ कंटोर सीन इन टर्मिनल इलियम स्ट्रिंग साइन ऑफ कंटोर सीन इन टर्मिनल इलियम इन केसेज ऑफ टी बी ओनली स्ट्रिंग साइन इज सीन इन द पायलोरस इन केसेज ऑफ आई एच पी एस पायलोर एक्सटोनोसिस बट वी डो नॉट सी नैरोइंग इन द रीजन ऑफ पायलोरस सो दस आंसर ऑफ सी ए पायलोरस इज ऑल्सो रूल्ड आउट मेलेग्नेंट ड्यूटनल अल्सर इज ऑल्सो रूल्ड आउट बिकॉज देर इज नो एबनॉर्मैलिटी पर सी इन द स्टमक वेयर आर वी सींग द एबनॉर्मैलिटी वी आर सींग द एबनॉर्मैलिटी इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूडनम एंड हेंस द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी अ कार्सनोमा हेड ऑफ पैनक्रियास ठीक है आई होप दिस वॉज क्लियर कैन वी मूव अहेड ठीक है चलो लेट मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ न्यू बॉर्न विद बीलियस वॉमिटिंग वॉज ब्रॉट इन ठीक है सो फर्स्ट हेंट इट्स अ न्यू बॉर्न एंड ही हैज बीलियस वॉमिटिंग ठीक है सो बीलियस वॉमिटिंग इन अ न्यू बॉर्न सो द लेवल ऑफ ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इज आफ्टर द एम्पल ऑफ वेटर दैट फॉर देयर इज बीलियस वॉमिटिंग राइट एंड द रिजल्ट ऑफ द जी आई स्टडी इज शोन बिलो वट इज द प्रोबेबल डायग्नोसिस सो वॉट इज द जी आई स्टडी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट इज शोन सो दिस इज नोन एज अ अपर जी आई कंट्रास्ट स्टडी दिस इज नोन एज एन अपर जी आई कंट्रास्ट स्टडी एंड इट इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन आयो हेगसॉल और अ वॉटर सॉल्यूबल कंट्रास्ट सो दिस इज नॉट डन विद बेरियम पर से स्पेशली इफ दिस इज न्यू बॉर्न एंड हैज बिलियस वॉमिटिंग सो रिमेंबर इन न्यू बॉर्न वी नेवर यूज बेरियम बेरियम इज नेवर यूज इन अ न्यू बॉर्न सो वॉट इज द प्रोबेबल डायग्नोसिस हेयर सो वॉट इज द इमेज शोइंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी दैट the second part of the duodenum is not crossing the midline if this is the spine we see that the duodenum is not crossing the midline it is not crossing the midline it is on the left or it is on the right of the spine okay so first hint is this and we see that there is this coiled spring configuration of the duodenum okay so what are our findings first of all, uh, first of all our finding is that the duodenum sorry that the duodenum is not crossing midline and the second finding is that there is coiled spring appearance or morphology of the duodenum theek hai so kis pathology mein ye milta hai hame we see this in midgut volvulus we see this in midgut volvulus why is a coiled spring appearance or duodenum not crossing the midline seen in midgut volvulus because of mal rotation so in mal rotation there is propensity for the upper gut to undergo you know volvulus along the sma axis and that's why we get a coiled spring appearance especially very important pathology in a newborn and this is a surgical emergency this is a surgical emergency the patient needs to undergo surgery immediately theek okay? hai so can we move on to the next question so if it was a jejunal atresia jejunal atresia first of all a plain x ray it's a diagnosis of plain x ray we get a triple bubble sign in duodenal atresia again a diagnosis of plain x ray we get a double bubble sign and sigmoid volvulus is mainly seen in adults it is not really seen in children and here on a plain x ray what do we get we get a coffee bean sign we get a coffee bean sign theek okay? hai so we'll let's move on to the next question during the previous 6 months a 52 year old male a female patient had been experiencing progressively worse breathing problem so she has some respiratory problems and she is an elderly female her rheumatoid arthritis is being treated with methotrexate so we know that uh, she is a case of rheumatoid arthritis uh, on methotrexate now which radiological investigation will be best for evaluating her present complaints now her present complaints is shortness of breath and she is a case of rheumatoid arthritis so rheumatoid arthritis and shortness of breath if we combine these two what do we what are we suspecting in our minds yes we are suspecting a interstitial lung disease right and among these options if it is a interstitial lung disease tell me chest x ray versus hrct which will be the better investigation since the question is asking which is the best investigation for evaluating yes the answer here will be hrct 
good yes the answer here is hrct good now a 41 year old male presents to presented to the orthopedic opd with chief complaints of backache and difficulty in neck movement since 15 to 20 years so it's a male elderly middle age elderly male an x ray of the cervical spine is being performed in view of his given complaints as shown below what is the most likely diagnosis so tell me what is the most likely diagnosis here is it angsmon it is is it uh, opll dish or osteoarthritis hmm okay so dish dish angsmon one is uh, yes you're right candle wax dripping appearance so the answer here is dish correct Uh, here we see that there is flowing wax appearance of calcification along the anterior longitudinal ligament so this is the anterior part of the spine this is the posterior part of the spine and we see the calcifications which are merging with each other on the anterior aspect of the cervical spine this is known as a flowing candle wax appearance and it is seen in dish what is this this is nothing but ossification of anterior longitudinal ligament theek hai so agar opll hota agar ossification of posterior longitudinal ligament hota answer then how would have uh, what would have been the x ray picture like so opll typically presents with ossification along the posterior part of the vertebral spine theek hai posterior part this is the location of opll and if it was a case of ankylosing spondylitis theek hai ankylosing spondylitis mein kaisi appearance hoti hai we get these syndesmophytes so these syndesmophytes are seen in this is a case of ankylosing spondylitis so i'll write it down ankylosing spondylitis mein you get syndesmo उसमें राइट बिहाइंड योर चेयर अच्छा तो सॉरी 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 सो विल यू नो इरेज दिस आई अगेन राइट दैट वॉट इज दिस अपियरेंस नोन एज दिस इज फ्लोइंग कैंडल वैक्स अपियरेंस विच इज सीन इन डिश एंड यस यू आर राइट दैट द कैल्सिफिकेशन विल बी एज ब्राइटेस्ट टीथ बट यहाँ पर जो टीथ दिख रहे हैं ना आपको इस इमेज में ये टीथ नेचुरल टीथ नहीं है इतने वाइट नहीं होते यहाँ पे डेंटल इम्प्लांट्स लगे हुए हैं टीथ में आप देखो जो ऑसिफिकेशन होगा वो बाकी बोन्स के जितना वाइट होगा सो so, इस केस में जो ऑसिफिकेशन है वो एडजस्टेंट वर्टिब्रा के जितना वाइट है जितना रेडियो पेक है सो दिस इज द नेचुरल ऑसिफिकेशन ऑफ द एंटीरियर लॉन्गिट्यूडनल लेगामेंट एंड दिस इज सीन इन केसेज ऑफ डिश ठीक है डिफ्यूज डिफ्यूज रेडियोपैथिक स्केलेटल हाइपर ऑस्टोसिस एज द वर्ल्ड सजेस्ट थैंक यू